So ladies and gentlemen, we have now arrived at our main event of the evening, which will be for the professional eternal featherweight championship contested over five five minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 65.7 kilos oh. and trains out of Mildura MMA, holding a professional record of 14 wins for nine defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Jesse Funky Cold Medina. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 66.1 kilos and trains out of absolute MMA, holding a professional record of six wins for two defeats. He is the reigning, defending, eternal featherweight champion, Far Jack Jenkins. Okay, gentlemen, welcome. We went through the rules. Make sure you listen to my command all the times. Defend yourselves all the times. That's for the belt, boys. You know what to do. Referee for this one, Peter Hickmott. And with the action begins, your referee in charge, Peter Hickmott. Featherweight belt on the line. It's Jenkins, who has UFC ambitions, up all against right. Jesse Medina to settle the score on. once and for all. Speaking of UFC ambitions, good to see Jimmy Crute, teammate of Jack Jenkins, here in the house tonight. No doubt he'd be uh, helping Far Jack get ready for tonight. Nice low kick there by Jack and the knee. Far Jack off to a good fast start here. The champ is looking very, very good so far. Very quick. Look at that, Drew. And buoyed on by Sam That's Hibbert's victory yes. to take the bantamweight belt. Here in the featherweight, Jenkins and Medina. Just in the clinch, both fighters at the moment. Yeah, this is a good spot for Jesse. Keeping the pressure on, on the champ, but Jack doing a good job of uh, taking the back. Almost. He's got one hook in. Look for him to use that right hand to establish a choke. And he uses the cake. Very sneaky there by Far Jack. That looks tight, but Jesse does well turning into him. Now he's in a good spot, is the challenger. He rode that out nicely, Medina. Did what he had to to get Jenkins off balance. Now looking for the takedown, here's Medina. Of course, victorious last time these two met. And since then, Jenkins has been just about unstoppable. These guys are just trying to feel each other out here. You know, both guys very, very well versed when it comes to grappling. Farjak, very, very experienced. And you can see he's made improvements since last fighting Jesse. That fight was three and a half years ago. Definitely looking for a different result as the champion here at Eternal 57. It's a long time in mixed martial arts. Yeah, and you can make so much progress. You know, even within, you know, a couple of years, you can almost become a completely different fighter. And like I said earlier, as he was walking out, his performance against Diego Pereira, probably one of the best performances I've seen from a featherweight here at Eternal. And you can see him just that high parry, deflecting that jab, looking to land those needs as he, once again, Medina finding himself up against the cage. Very composed Medina. Jenkins, the aggressor early here in round one. His featherweight belt on the line here, Jack Jenkins, tonight. Yeah, and Jack's going to punish those legs. He's going to put a lot of venom, a lot of venom if Jesse gives him the chance. And you can see the welt already just on the mid-calf of Jesse Medina, courtesy of Far Jack. The champ making a statement, and again he goes low. 
Jenkins again controlling position. Medina doing well to avoid the takedown. Looks for a takedown himself. Yeah, pretty dominant round for Jack so far as we you know, approach the last minute. I guess in the eyes of the judges, you know, Jack spent most of the time pressing Jesse up against the cage, establishing position, landing leg kicks from the outside. Jesse yet to have an answer for what Far Jack is uh, showing him at this stage. But it is a five round championship fight. Don't go anywhere at this stage. Far Jack looking good though, Drew Forbes. He is just controlling proceedings on his terms for now. You know, if you're sitting at home watching, it might not seem as entertaining as, uh, I guess, some of the fights we've seen earlier on. But these guys are working hard. What they're doing here, pummeling, clinching, pummeling, clinching, breaking. It's very, very taxing on the body. And a good cross check there by Jesse Medina. Jack's got to be careful he doesn't, you know, catch the clean shin. He might do more damage to himself as opposed to... That's better from Jack. That outside leg kick followed by that stiff jab. He's starting to loosen up now. Yeah, Mr. and he's limping Medina a little bit on that leg. So they're on hurting the him. He needs to get this on the ground, but Jenkins was ready for that advance. That is beautiful. That's that is beautiful. Right. And that's big, especially those last minutes of the round. That, that almost seals the first round for Far Jack, I'd have to say, Jury. Yeah, that could be a key to victory, All right. Good. as they say Good. in the industry. Good. <laughs> Second round here. The stakes are high. Yeah, see that? See how Jesse's checking those legs instead of turning his foot out? And that there is evidence of the damage that Far Jack has done as Jesse Medina goes down. This could be very close okay. to being stopped. Peter Hickmont watching very closely. He can't stand up. Jury. Step back, step He's back. in big trouble here, Medina, no. with that leg. No, and this Jenkins is it. knows it. This is it. He's going go in for go the go kill here. Go this fight's over. No, that's it. It's and all over. It's all over. Jack Jenkins retains his featherweight belt here at Eternal MMA 57. Clinical from Jenkins. So ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring your winner by TKO. And still the eternal featherweight champion far jack jenkins well ladies and gentlemen here with the end still eternal featherweight champion far jack jenkins and just a dominant win in the rematch here against jesse medina obviously the calf kicks were the catalyst that led to the finish coming in here tonight was that a specific technique that you had targeted yeah, it was. Hey, look, before I forget, the first thing I want to say is uh, when Jesse beat me four years ago, he showed me nothing but humility and respect in one of the toughest times of my career. He, he came and spoke to me. So the first thing I want to say is just thanks, Jesse. You got all my respect as a competitor and a person. And uh, thank you for coming up here and doing it with me. I know we scheduled a few times. Well, classy as always there, Jack, and uh, winning more and more fans as you make more appearances inside the cage. Of course, the finish ended up being pretty brutal there. That knee split him open. Well, as soon as you saw him, that he couldn't bear weight, I guess, on that lead leg, seemed like he just saw red. Yeah, I know that I'm a nice guy, but when I'm in here, I'm mean. And when I see that finish, I'm getting it however I can. And I work with my striking coach, Andy Colgrave, for so long on just being balanced and landing those knees. And when I saw he didn't want to be there anymore, I thought I'd give him that way up. Well, look, you did come over and say something particular to our promoters there at the, at the end of that fight. Look, the floor is yours. Yeah, look, there's a Dana White's Contender Series in June. Uh, I heard we, got, we possibly have another Eternal Champ on it. Let's get a second one in there and run an Eternal Fight past UFC Contender. You know, I'm ready for that next level, so let's do it. Well, no arguments from me. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner and still featherweight champion, Far Jack Jenkins.